Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in this tutorial, I would be teaching you about the Trojan horses. But before I go ahead and proceed with the Trojan horse, I need to teach you something different about the man in the middle attack and how we can go ahead and use it in our uh, Trojan horse attack as well. And I, as I have told you previously, Trojan horse is uh, nothing but just a fake window dressing over any uh, random type of virus through which you won't be able to see it is. You will think it is some kind of a lure to go ahead and make you enter a trap. That's what it is. So we, I would be teaching you man in the middle attack today uh, so that we can go ahead and further continue with our Trojan horse. But even before that, I will teach you two different types of Trojan horses. One is creating a file format payload and another one is a java applet method so and for a java applet method to work uh, you need the person you're trying to attack must have uh, the java installed uh, on his or her system so that it will be easier for us to go ahead and create a fake a java runtime error and he will be able to run it and then we will be able to go ahead and grab his uh, browser and inject it with any kind of virus that we want or any payload we want so let's go ahead and first uh, take a look at that and we will get back to this then so i'll just go ahead and open my vmware and I'll just go ahead and start both of my machines Windows 7 as well as Kali Linux so the first thing that we would be creating is that we would be creating an mp3 file which uh, will include a uh, mp3 or a pdf file which will include a virus inbuilt and we will also go ahead and write something down on the PDF so that the person does not automatically closes the PDF file. And once he runs it, he will not be able to go ahead and close that on his machine. So I'll just go ahead and seems my Windows 7 has started. So I need to install two things right now. One is the Adobe Reader and the another one would be my own that's okay. And the other one would be Java and I would go ahead and install them right now let's go ahead okay fine let's open the browser normally most of the people have this installed the reason being that it is very much necessary for to in order for them to go ahead and run a lot of things and without java most people uh, won't probably be running it on the machines so uh, mo most of the time they al almost have java and install <coughs> adobe reader okay Okay, uh, install, uh, wait, 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 uh, that was a spam which I wanted to cancel, so let's first go ahead and, okay, mm, Java next, and I'll install that as well. and yes i don't want google chrome i just i don't even want this install perfect i believe java is installed yep it's still running Yes. And uh, let's wait till the Adobe Reader gets installed. Seems like we have finished our Adobe Reader installation. So now it's time for us to go ahead and start our attack. 
let's go ahead and just go and delete all of these things now back over here okay so yes i will delete this as well so the first thing that we would want to do would be go ahead and start our se tool kit and over here we had different modes of attack so the one which we would be trying would be uh, we would be creating a trojan horse so you will see selecting one social engineering toolkit and as you can see we have different types of attacks over here but we would be using this third one infectious media generator and we have two different types of attack there is a standard metasploit executable payload.exe and other one we have is a file format exploit that is uh, any using any different file and of uh, format and uh, then going ahead and converting that into our virus which runs in the background and so I'll just go ahead and use my IP address to go ahead and create a reverse connection so as you can see we have different types of attacks over here uh, Adobe flash player button Adobe cool thing but we don't want any of uh, like any of these specific things the term we, when we, we would be using would be the Adobe PD, Adobe PDF embedded exe social engineering toolkit so, so this is just a normal you can say as uh, a normal file, PDF file which will be which you would be sending to your uh, target using well, through email ID and you can go ahead and get the email ID through the harvester method that I taught previously and after you get the email ID you can send him something like just go ahead and view this Adobe for any XXX reason and once he goes ahead and checks that and downloads and uh, opens that he will be in a problem so use our own PDF for attack or we can go ahead and use the built-in PDF for attack so uh, let's see if we have some good PDFs or you can also use your own but I would be using the built-in one it, never mind if you use your own it will ask you the path where it is I would be using the built-in one because I don't have any PDF you can select the either one and we want a meterpreter reverse shell so the one which I would be using would be the windows meterpreter reverse uh, uh, shell the one which I taught you previously and I'll just go ahead and start it and IP address for the uh, payload listener that means the, I, uh, the IP address where it would be reverting back to that one so again I would have to go ahead and use my own IP address so I'll just go ahead and use this and I'll just paste it over here the port would be the 443 same one I would be using Okay, let's start the listener now and uh, as you can see we can also go ahead and create a USB or a CD drive and then we can go ahead and auto run that as well so I'd, right now I will just go ahead and activate my listener uh, so as you can see a template has been created in the set directory so I'll just go ahead over here in my root I believe it is root right let me check and let's go ahead and show all the hidden files period SCT perfect and we have the template so this is our virus file which I will be copying and pasting it over here and let's start the listener and I'll just go ahead and disable my defender right now and I'll just go ahead and disable it for the time being perfect I'll just copy this paste it over here and I'll just go ahead and cut this and paste it over here perfect just uh, go ahead and start it and let's see if our listener has already started okay let's go ahead and try to open it mm, let's see if we have the connection over here so as you can see it's asking me to go ahead and save something in the system32 file or something like that so as you can see as soon as we get over here our as soon as our template pdf has started we will get a remote connection over here and then we can go ahead and straight away go ahead and access all the files in this machine by the same method so this is just an example as to how we can go ahead and run that 
And if you go and see in the background, we still have an Adobe Reader function running. It is not actually the Adobe Reader. It is our payload file that has been running since now. And I believe that it just got disconnected. It got disconnected. So, okay. So, this is a way as to how you can go and do that. If you don't work, if I go, don't go and open the session over here, it will straight away get disconnected after some period of time because that's how it works over here. So that uh, if a person is running, if I have uh, uh, went the session on background and if the person who is over here, if he tries to go and run something, uh, he should not be able to see uh, why the Adobe file is still running even after it's closed. So that is one way of it running in a way and yes, that's how it works. So and the first thing that you would like to do is that if the person is smart enough then he will straight away go ahead and close the Adobe Reader file. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and migrate that to the Windows Explorer.exe. Once you go ahead and do that, the person will not even know that there is something running in the background. So yeah, that's how it works. So that is it for this tutorial guys. In the next tutorial, I will be teaching you as to how we can go ahead and create a Java applet method. Uh, hacking to the Java applet method with the same social engineering toolkit and this would be quite different from the other one because over here we would not be asking the third party to going to go ahead and uh, execute any file or let's say we don't need to do all those things or send anything in mail the only thing that we need to know is the person's IP address and if you know that we can straight away go ahead and do that. So yes, that is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will be taking a look at the Java applet method and we'll see how it works.